let's watch this really quick. Everything you need to know, Nitros. Apparently, this is a mobile MMO. If it's Unreal Engine 5, dude, I bet this looks better than most modern day PC MMOs. Let's say this game is a game that both PC and mobile can play. Let's watch. Let's watch. Biggest gaming successes of 2023 is finally getting a cross platform global release on PC, Android, and iOS in early 2024. Night Crows is a free-to-play MMORPG built in Unreal Engine 5 and set in 13th century Europe. Whether you take up the sword, hmm. the bow, or sorcery, join hundreds of other players in huge-scale battles both on the ground and high up in the sky. Here's everything you need to know about Night Crows. Set in the aftermath of the Fourth Crusade of 1204, Europe's attempt to expand its influence to other continents didn't go as planned, so they've taken the fight back home. Nestled between France and Italy, the fictional principality of New Trieste was born out of Rome with these graphics, the man. Templar and now seeks to unify all of Europe. And by unify, we mean hit with swords, arrows, and magic. You play as one of the titular Night Crows, a guild of warriors made up of knights, royalty, and religious figures who've banded together to fight against threats to the land. And threats there are aplenty as the Night Crows square up against all manner of man, beast, and colossal monster. As part of the Night Crows Guild, you can take up one of four classes. Each class offers two advancement options that will change how you approach gameplay, and as you progress, you can upgrade to new advancement levels. Chat, to look at this. Progress look at this. Look at this. Approach game Look at this. Takes place in medieval Europe. She don't look like she from medi medieval Europe, man. She looks Korean AF. It's been options that will change how you approach gameplay and as you progress, you can oh, this upgrade is a blockchain to new game? levels to improve your specialization. If you're looking to hit stuff so hard it'll think twice about getting back up again, then the warrior class will give you the stopping power you need, while Bro, also just providing looks like the HP throwing liberty to tank combat damage. Before they changed As a warrior, it. you can choose either to wield a two-handed sword so gargantuan it'll make Cloud Strife look up from his breakfast, or you can take up the spear. What is what is this script? What is going on here? To me, this sounded like a pre-recorded script that Nitros came up with themselves and gave to GameSpot and told them, hey, read the script. But like, surely they would not have Cloud Strife name dropped in their script, right? The spear allows you to Chat inhale GPT from a distance, script? but can also draw folks. You think this is, wait, you think this is AI? Closer with you don't think this is a real person? No, this is a real person. Is it not? Powerful spinning vortex. Perhaps you like a little more defense in your play style. If so, then the Swordsman's Sword and Shield Advancement could be for you. This option gives players with a shield to protect themselves and their allies. But if your strategy is more about chaos and aggression, you can use the Twin Sword to take the fight to the enemy with twice the sword-wielding Gusto dealing exceptionally high damage. If you prefer to take on your enemies from afar, then the Hunter class provides the longest attack range in the game with the bow. An archer can be critical to a team as they offer Gender overwatch locked. on the battlefield while also chipping health away from enemies. Hunters can also take up the dagger, however, which can allow you to both silence an enemy. You must not know how, how far. Movement, no, I do, but like this is this is really AI. And bind them, immobilizing AI, your bow and reducing their attribute score. Lastly, there's the Witch class, which, as the name suggests, deals mostly in magic. The Witch class can use either a wand or a staff, each offering different battlefield advantages. The staff inflicts large amounts of damage to multiple enemies from a distance, while the wand can be used for healing spells to support your party. The two best ways to level up quickly so you can get into bigger and better battles are by questing and challenging enemies. Quests can be auto-completed by your character, so are a convenient way though. to level up when you're just oh starting. Oh my god, if Unreal Engine 5, let's go, man. Challenge enemies. Seriously, Unreal Engine 5 is really starting to push the boundaries of fucking reality. Heroic, heroic Cow, this is a... A new mobile MMORPG that's coming out tomorrow. You can engage directly with the controls to take down enemies manually. Be careful, however, as some enemies can be particularly tough and may require help, even if you're a higher level player. Night Crows renders a realistic version of 13th century Europe in Unreal Engine 5, and the world you can explore is vast and varied. 
Not to worry, because shortly into your game, you'll unlock mounts. Once you have them, you'll be able to travel around the map much more easily. Not only that, but you can enhance your character's abilities because equipping a mount provides additional attributes, such as better attack speed or higher defense. What? Perhaps most important, however, is deciding which of the massive selection of mounts you'll want to ride. I can Classic totally horse, see that. Yeah, Humble this donkey, is... or what a... Bro, this is 100% going to be a... Uh... Pay to win, dude. Like, <laughs> get the best mounts of the game. Why would they add stats to your mounts? It's so stupid, man. Like, why? Why? Like, who at the studio thought that that was a good idea to do? Like, if you're like, oh my gosh, if you're making a video game and you're thinking, chat, or if you're if you're thinking not chat, right, sorry, if if you're thinking, boys. We need more stats. We need more forms of vertical progression. I would much rather have some kind of like fucking relic item that you just equip as an additional item that has these stats rather than applying these stats to a fucking mount, man. Like, come on. It's just, you could do it so in so many other ways. Why put it on a mount? Full faced bison looking thing pique your interest. But your noble steed isn't the only mode of transportation. You might have spotted the strange floating platforms suspended by air balloons scattered throughout the vast landscape. These are connected to one of the most interesting features of Night Crows, gliding. gliding. In this world, medieval history books apparently left out some of the more awesome facts, like how Europe had mastered hover and glide technology 700 years before the Wright brothers thought to add an engine. Take to the skies with your allies, both for travel and for combat. These gliders aren't restricted by petty obstacles like gravity or momentum. While you're gliding, you can hover with the hover flight function, dash horizontally with flight rush, and if you spot an enemy, you can target that enemy and get a devastating hit with dive attack. Not all gliders are alike, however. Get, get, I mean, different gliders have different features based on their design and grade, Do so they make have sure you pick too? a glider that suits your playstyle. Night Crows is an MMORPG, so to get the best experience, you'll want to team up with a group to take on larger battles, be they enormous monsters that threaten the land or worthy challengers in PvP. When playing Night Crows, you can expect to be on maps featuring as many as 1,000 players at a time. Mad Engine, the developers of the game, have been able to utilize inter server technology to enable players Ooh. on three separate servers to cross swords with one another. That means a relatively small technology. skirmish can escalate into a huge battle with hundreds of opponents. Not only that, but the battles aren't restricted to the land as gliders and floating Honestly, platforms just, offer a bro, whole. Bro, the trailer kind of looks like Throne and Liberty, just with a different spin. New dimension to combat. Expect all the yeah, it kind of does look like a throne clone, doesn't it? Become one colossal battlefield. Once you've upgraded your character to level forty, you can move to the battlefront. Battlefront takes Night Crows from multiple servers to provide the largest, toughest battles in the game, with battlefields taking up the majority of the map. It'll push your glider utility and combat prowess to the limit, but the rewards for Battlefront victories are more valuable and diverse compared to regular battles. Night Crows also includes a way for fans to support their favorite content creators with the streamer support system. What the fuck is this? It's a system to help streamers earn rewards for playing Night Crows and make it easier for supporters to contribute to their favorite creators. In-game purchases can be converted into seeds, which are then distributed to streamers based on their engagement. If you want to support your favorite streamer and earn something for yourself, sign up for the streamer support system now to receive a free Black Wings of Freedom glider. Night Crows will be released for PC, Android, and iOS in early 2024. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Systems like that are usually pretty good for content creators. But ain't nobody going to do that for a mobile game. Bro, you guys chose the wrong fucking platform to push that type of system in. Ain't nobody going to be... Like, seriously. Like, it's free to play and... Who's going to be streaming this as a main game? Watch this. All right, hold on. I'll watch this after. Have you... Welcome. You have registration is already open on the official website pre-register now for a bounty oh, of additional wolf. rewards like wolf the silver wolf cool. or black wings glider that's you everything just said to the know black wings about glider comes from night crows for more night crows info and other gaming content wait emma fifey look yeah, chat i told you it wasn't ai the voice wasn't ai see i told you 
That was real person. How about the script? Oh. Oh. Tent, be sure to keep GameSpot in your sights as you soar overhead in your fancy customized glider. Interesting. Here's a link to the video. Who ever thought that all the in-game items you've obtained should belong to you? Well, in Night Crows, the effort you've put in will translate directly into your assets. The tokenomics of this game is actually quite unique. With this game, you can experience a true blockchain game that is unlike any other crypto game you've ever seen. Here are six reasons why the tokenomics of Night Crows is so exceptional. Let's get right into it. Number one, minting diamonds into tokens. This is the core of night let's give it let's give them a chance let's let's see let's let's see what they have to say crow's tokenomics the crow token c r o w the crow token can be minted with diamonds the key currency of night crows now it goes without saying that diamonds are important well in night crows diamonds are used to trade a lot of things diamonds obtained directly through the exchange and request station are called value added diamonds or V Dia for short. What? Crow tokens can be minted with V Dia. I'm already lost. Just think about it. Minting the most important in-game currency into tokens yourselves. Pretty cool, right? Number two, connecting the in-game economy and the real world economy. Now, what can you do with Crow? You can swap Crow to WeMix Dollar and also trade other item tokens and character NFTs. Let's take a look at swapping Crow to WeMix Dollar first. The V die you obtain by putting time and resources into playing the game can be turned into Crow tokens, and Crow can be turned into WeMix Dollar. And also, this whole process works mm -hmm. the other way around as well, meaning that the in-game economy and the real-world economy can be connected through the Crow tokens. Now, don't forget, Crow is the key currency of Night Crows. What? But you said it's not the main currency. Didn't he just say the main currency is diamonds? In the... Right? C-R-O-W. The crow token can be minted with diamonds, the key currency of Night Crows. Now, it goes without... The key currency of Night Crows is diamond. It literally said it, and he just said it here. And then... Don't forget, Crow is the key currency of Night Crows. What the fuck? Which one is it? Which one is the key currency? You can't have two key currencies. What the fuck? Imagine botching your fucking explanation. Listen, listen, guys. L listen. No, he didn't even say main. He literally said key currency twice. Bro. Imagine trying to explain... Uh, Imagine trying to explain an NFT system to gamers that don't even want to listen to it to begin with. The only reason why you guys are watching because I'm kind of forcing you to. <laughs> and you and you botch the delivery. Like you you don't even you don't even actually explain it right or correctly or effectively e effectively I should say. I'm fucking confused. What like which is the key currency? Crow or fucking diamond? I don't know. Number three, holding Ethereum? No problem. Yes, no, I actually have... no. I sold all, I sold out of all my Ethereum positions at 4,000. Remix dollar right now. What do I do? I'm, I'm Ethereum broke. Sure, some of you just asked yourselves this question. Well, this part is just for you. Nobody Nightcore asked supports that question. Three wallets and six chains. Support oh my God. Bit chains include not only Wemix 3.0, but also Ethereum, BNB, Polygon, and more. You can easily swap assets on supported chains to Crow for gameplay. There are many ways to do that, but using the Una wallet is the easiest and simplest way you can do it. Open the App Store or Play Store right now. This is chat. This is listen, listen, listen. This is this is why none of these systems will work. You know why? Because even if this is not a scam, even if it's a pretty good system, at the end of the day, when you have third-party hoops, multiple hoops and layers that you got to go through, it doesn't work. 
Bro, having one or two extra layers within your fucking video game could sometimes kill your fucking video game. That's not like we gamers, we need simple Popega ass systems in place because I want to just click and trade and earn. That's it. It's like I make go you want to know a great system? Here's a great system. I make gold in the game. I buy goods with gold in the game. I can sell goods and make gold in the game. Done. That's all. That's that that's literally the perfect system. Done. Currency spendable, gainable. Done. That's it. This fucking like what the fuck are we even in, man? Two minutes into this video, I feel like I've been watching a two-hour video. And look up Uno Wallet. With only Uno Wallet, you can use your coins to experience the true blockchain economy of Night Crows. Number four, minting core items oh into tokens. Oh my god! But other than Crow, there are six more tokens that can be minted with items in Night Crows. These are Morian, Gear, Promote, Tier, Feather, and Papyrus. These six type of tokens can be minted directly using main tradable items. Imagine having to trade items through the exchange to get VDIA every time you wanted to mint Imagine. Imagine having to trade items through the exchange to get. Imagine having to trade diamonds in the g what? Be dia every time you wanted to. Imagine having to trade items through the exchange to get be dia every time you wanted to min. Like he's saying it in a way where I feel like I'm a fucking dumbass for not knowing the what the hell he's talking about. It's crow. Now that. Does anyone? Okay, I'm actually being serious. Okay. Jokes, content, all this aside. If you have honestly kept up with the video and you know exactly how this works, based off of this, not like you've watched it multiple times. I'm talking about the first watch through. O's in chat. Type X's in chat if you're already lost. Be honest. Be honest. I want to know. I might be Papega. But I'm lost. Saigo's the only one that typed O. I I wanna I want you just so you guys know, Saiga, the one guy that typed O, we had him take an IQ test, and his IQ was actually over 220. He's he's an he's a he's a living genius. That would just be too much. Mint these main items into tokens and trade them instead. Now that's much easier. Number five, a real world exchange for game items. Why should game items only be traded in game? The world has changed and so have the trading of game items. There should be a real world market where game items can be traded. You can find such a market in- This is taking pay to win on another fucking level. Phoenix plays Phoenix deck. Like, they, 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 like this fucking, this approach, they've just embraced the pay to win and they're like, yo, you know what? Let's take a different spin on pay to win. Let's make the customers and the players feel like fucking idiots by not playing play to win, pay to win games. Let's spin this narrative and, and, and make it and, and gaslight people into thinking pay to win good real exchange to sell tokens minted from items and buy the tokens for items you need do you see this traders for many games on wemix play are being made here and not just for night crows being able to see all of this at a glance makes me feel like i'm in a huge real market number six freely trade characters and last but not least everything you put into your I character is worth characters. it and you can prove that in nfts here in the market of WeMix Play. This is the world's biggest market for game NFTs, where you can also check details of other characters in the Crow's Discovery page before playing them, and also buy new characters. How cool does that sound? It's like adding to the fun of the gameplay. Your character is- <laughs> It's like adding to the fun of the gameplay. <laughs> RMT Lee, <laughs> RMT fucking buy trade accounts. It's like adding fun to the gameplay. Like, what the fuck? How is that adding fun? Is <laughs> literally your legacy.
For special tokenomics to be reborn as a true blockchain economy, you need an excellent game. You've asked for it, so here it is. The amazing MMORPG, Night Crows. Night Crows and its world-class graphics created with Unreal Engine 5, with support for smooth and convenient token trading for users, will help you experience the blockchain game of your dreams. Are you ready to face new values past your imagination? Well then, gamers, ready your arms for Night Crows. Oh man, 